What's going on everybody? I'm excited here. Haven't done a live stream in a while. We are going to play Athletic Director Simulator 3000. It's a game by Matt Brown. If you've seen me talk about him, or if you've seen the videos, I talked to him about the NCAA football, the, the college football coming out with EA Sports. He's over at Extra Points. But anyways, you know, they had a free three-day period. So we're going to get into this. Hopefully you guys can join me here. Kane's Cats Heat is here. What's going on? We're going to play this. I, I want you guys to drop in the chat and let me know some of your answers. Basically, it's just a simulation. Uh, athletic director, I'm going to read you through it. I've not played this. Uh, I don't know what to expect here. You try to get points and you have a budget to balance. I've seen that. I also know you can get fired. So hopefully we don't do that. So here, here we go. Um, let, let's get going here. One second. Hopefully you guys can hear. I'm going to switch to music. It's got the uh, the real music on right now. Uh, you played the beta yesterday. That's that's awesome. A beta or paid version yet. This is the paid version. They had three days of the, the beta version. or It's continuing to be updated. So I highly recommend it. But hopefully we can play it together. We can talk about things. Big things coming up for the Hurricanes this week. ACC kickoff is on Tuesday, which is their media days. That's what they call it, the ACC media days. You've seen the other conferences I posted some things to the website there on InsideU.com, you know, just about SEC stuff because Miami is going to play, you know, just there, there's some stuff from the Big 12, um, the SEC with, with Texas A&M coming up, but the Big 12, uh, obviously with Brent Venables with the OU comments there, the MAC had theirs with that. That's who Miami plays first off, Miami of Ohio. They had some comments I posted there. So a lot of things going on Miami on Tuesday. So Tyler Van Dyke, Matt Lee, Cam Kitchens will be there as long as – obviously with, with Coach Cristobal. So it's a three-day event this year. Um, so, so definitely uh, stay tuned there. But l let's get going here. I I'm not sure what to expect at all. But again, l let's go through it here. So it says, in this game, you'll take the role of a D1 athletic director starting as a leader of a low major school, FCS school. You'll be in charge of a managing a budget, your local support, and your director's cup ranking. You'll start by choosing an AD profile, which will impact your starting budget, support, and athletic ranking as you progress. This profile will also impact the outcomes of the de decisions you make. If you excel at your new job, you may even get a promotion and move up to a higher profile school. Fail and you might get fired. All right, here, here we go. Let's, let's go into it here. Again, I, I have not played this. I haven't asked Matt uh, about it, uh, any tips or anything. So we got a bu budget of 10 million, support right at 50%, the Director's Cup rankings 150th, which if you're not sure about that, it basically it has to do with all your sports in your athletic department. That's what that ranking is. Welcome to Athletic Director Simulator 3000, brought to you by Extra Points, a D1 dot ticker publication this game you are the ad of a d1 university you'll start as a leader of a low major fcs football playing school so that's good and if you make good decisions you might get promoted to other schools make poor decisions and you'll get fired your goal is to raise money stay out of ncaa jail and try to improve your department as best you can try to maximize your budget your local support your wins on and off the field choose your starting profile all right yeah I, i'm not sure but I'm not sure if it has actual schools or if it's just one of these things where it's kind of just the basic things. But yeah, I'm all for starting with a, a Florida school. Hold on, let me fix the chat here. There we go. Let's see. So it says choose your starting profile. We get one, two, or three. Ace fundraiser. Players with this profile will start with a 10% higher athletic department budget. And we'll see a 3% boost in all. I kind of like that one. That's a good one. Um, it gives us some more money off that budget. I like that. So number two, former coach. Players with this profile will start with a 10% higher director's cup ranking. So that means we go up a little bit there and we'll see a 3%. You know, yeah, okay, okay. A beloved alum. Players with this profile will start with a 10% higher support ranking, and we'll see a 3% boost. Okay, so it's basically you get this little boost, 10%, whether it's higher support out of the out of the jump, a higher budget, or the higher ranking. I want to go either with the budget or support. I'm kind of looking at the budget just because I, I think we can kind of build up that way. I'm So I'm kind of leaning towards number one here. 
Um, and one of the things I just want to mention with, with Matt, who created this with, with some other guys, uh, he has contacts to athletic directors. So a lot of these questions and comments that he posts in here um, in, in the game, I know he, he gets it from uh, basically his sourcing and just, you know, he's just aware of what it takes essentially. And we're going to figure it out. So I'm, I'm leaning towards Ace Fundraiser here. Because I feel like we can get, I feel like if we can, I feel like we can get wins if we've got extra money. That, that's my thinking there. Um, the higher support ranking. I, I feel like if we get wins, well, again, I feel like it starts with the budget, go with wins, and once you get wins, you can get support. That's my thinking here. So let's go here. So yeah, so now we get that 10%. So now we're up to 11 million out of the jump here. All right, we got it. This is our first one chat was okay so we, this is our first question here an angry parent this is how it works this game basically a, a series of questions and then we've got to answer them and then our support and rankings and stuff go up that's my understanding an angry parent of a baseball player emails you alleging that their son is hold on i'm gonna fix the, the music here One second here. All right. Nice little background music there. Okay, so again, once again, okay, an angry parent of a baseball player emails you alleged that their son is being benched due to favoritism and that the coach is a bully. Okay, I already know where we're going to go with this one. Speak to the coach in private before you engage with the parent. Delegate the support administration and have them keep, keep you in the loop. Speak with the parent privately before engaging with the coach. Ignore the parent, parents of athletes. Yeah, I, I'm I'm with number four here. Yep, Kane's cat. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking ignore the parent. This isn't this isn't junior high or high school. I know we're at the low level, FCS level right now. But yeah, we're gonna go with ignore the parent. What's going on? No smoke. Yeah, live stream. I haven't done one of these in a while, so we're playing this game. We're gonna we're gonna kind of do this together. And I'm with you here. So. so I wonder how this works. Maybe you get. Okay, we get a perfect answer. The athlete hits the transfer portal shortly after the parent emailed you. Oh, I didn't get to read it. But we lost support and we lost some money. Okay, it's been a few years since the department last had Title IX audit and your president is asking if the school should pay for another one yes we're going to do that okay yes it's expensive and time consuming but it beats litigation yes but recommended the school use professors as experts rather than outside we're going number one on this one i think this is kind of an easy one no the school is judge compliant last time and nothing significant has changed i understand if you're trying to save money but we're, we got to go number one we're, we're not going to get in a mess with this and it's the right thing to do Auto is expensive and time consuming, but you now feel more confident. There we go. More support, but we do lose 41,000, but we have that extra money. Remember that 10% increase. So the extra million dollars is helping us on these, some of these first couple questions here. Oh, I missed the social media thing. Okay. You have the chance to serve on the NCAA baseball selection committee. Okay. It will help your long term. I, this is right for you, Keynes. Here we go. It will help your long-term job prospects and networking, but could be a major time suck. It would also require you to travel. We got to do it. We got to accept the, the assignment. It's part of the job. That's what we're here for. Especially if we're at, like lower level, we got to move up. So we're going to do this. The committee did take a lot of time, but it was very valuable networking experience with leaders across the country. So plus 4% support. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't read everything. You guys can read it. Yeah, I need to make sure I can just like glance at it because it goes away quickly. So it looks like we get time to answer the question, but the, the response, the way it works, it goes a little faster. Okay, Central Campus has pledged to increase your budget enough to hire one of new staffer. Okay, so we get to hire someone. Okay, this is good, this is good. A new SID to help with athletes storytelling and relations. Okay, 
possibly again we're at the fcs level so i understand the importance of that okay a new development assignment to help with fundraising develop assistant a new director of ops to free up coaching resources volleyball and softball a new athletic trainer to i like i'm, I'm thinking two or four on this one yeah we're, we're rigging it to get the top 16 i like that maybe it'll <laughs> it'll come back around a new development i'm thinking number two i'm thinking number two here we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna try to raise some money here hold on one second oh so we got sixty six thousand. i gotta make sure i look at that okay before i There's something out there. I want to fix this real quick. Uh, I'm going to leave it like this. At the bottom of the screen, there, there's there's three things it says five ten slash ten here i'll show you real quick i'm not sure what this means but you can see right there the 10 below the q32 i don't like how it looks on screen though all right here we go we we gained some money sixty-six thousand on that last question all right men's basketball coach so we're switching kind of going basic kind of going all over the place i like this here your men's basketball coach is asking how many paycheck games the team should schedule this season. So what that is, obviously, if you don't know, smaller schools accept paycheck to play bigger schools. They get paid um, for showing up, essentially, even though they're probably going to lose. As many as possible so the team can maximize revenue that can be reinvested in the program. Just two so the team can maximize potential wins in the and home games, the conference average is of three to four. Okay, so that's good to know. Three to four is the average. Say it's completely up to him and that any revenue shortfalls. I feel like all four are on the table here. We've been doing a lot of things to maximize revenue. I'm kind of leaning, yeah, okay, you're going number two. You know, I like the idea of a potential upset and, and maybe you, you get that, you know, you can get recruits by saying, hey, come to our school, we play big schools, but I'm kind of leaning towards two as well. see how this goes I wish I knew like if it had to do with like a certain year like if we're in year one or how this might work let's just go to oops I want to go to the money from the paychecks directly into travel more balance going to help in the standings but with fans as well there we go got to enjoy more home games more support and we move up in ranking so we finally moved up. We were one fiftieth. This was that was the first time that we moved up. Oh, the coach is taking off. All right, leaving for a Big East job that happens, and you need to hire up a replacement. This is a, going to be a good one. We we got to get you guys the answer on this one. A, a very successful low major head coach has expressed interest, but you're not sure you can afford a salary requirements. What do you do? Talk to his agent and see if they can, they might be willing to come down on the salary numbers exchange for other perks. Quickly talk to your biggest booster, see if they'll be willing to increase donations. So we have good support. We're at least over 50%. Quickly talk to the school president, ask for a budget increase. Move on to another more affordable. I want to win. I want to win. I like that, that the guy's interested. So we're going to go after him here. And he's successful, very successful. 
Which looks this good, it's never yeah, do we do we just style. asked if we I, I feel like we got some good support, so I feel like we're gonna we're gonna do that. Great news, peeps. Since we hit our quarterly goals, lunch of McAllister's we're gonna try and pay him. Spudcast. Travis, what's going on? Travis oh, Travis is in here. First response. So we're going with Travis. He's lady. going to talk to the agency willing to come down. Pecan berry salad for me. Called it. How do you know what we like from McAllister's but not know our names? Great question. See, dude? I definitely think it's one or two though. We're gonna go Travis here. All right, Travis, let's see what you got here. Agent leaks to the press are too cheap. Oh my goodness, Travis! What did you do? All good. We'll we'll make it up. We'll make it up. That was harsh. That was that was harsh. A star football player is considering a transfer to a group of five FBS university, and the coach asks you to sit down with him. What do you say? I feel like we got to keep him on board, even though this is going to happen. Um, so we'll see we're here. Nothing. Recruiting and retention should be the responsibility of the coaching staff. Oh, yeah, this is athletic director. I was thinking as a coach. Yeah, we. I, I feel like we got to stay out of it here. <laughs> All good, Travis. We're good. We're good. I feel like we got to stay out of it. Do you guys like the athletic director getting involved with this, with recruiting, essentially? Explain how a move won't impact the player's ability to play in the NFL. It could be very disruptive towards the academic career. I don't like that. That seems too harsh. Explain how the athlete could take advantage of me. I that's one thing with that I'm curious about with just NIL opportunities. We obviously talk about Miami and the big time, you know, football programs and big time schools, but at the FCS level, I can't imagine NIL opportunities just be in there um, for a lot of players. I, I'm leaning towards one here. I, I kind of want to just like stay out of it. Um, Transfers are obviously going to happen as the way I look at it, and it's a step up um, from an FCS to the, the FBS level, so I feel like it's going to happen. Um, no smoke. Got to get involved. It shows everyone in the school. That's interesting, too. Yeah, maybe at different school levels, um, especially because it's football here, you know? You, maybe you're right. Maybe you want to have everybody involved at the smaller schools. Um Especially because there, there can clearly be a disconnect between. Because again, we came into this. We're not a former coach. We came in a, with the budget as a fundraiser. So maybe it would be good. So if we're going to get involved, which which involvement here? I don't like number two. So we can rule that one out. Because I don't like you know the, you know just kind of talking down on the academic stuff. You know essentially a threat but I like I think number three maybe here maybe there are some opportunities if he stays on campus maybe you can come up with a, a plan to to get your player out in front here show that he's wanted essentially let's go with three here no smoke one of three here some do exist and you're able to lay out a path there we go plus there we go we got some we're moving up there got that support back look at that trophy case all right you need to hire a new coach for your women's basketball program but do not have a ton of financial resources hire a state champion high school coach with a unique playbook I feel like I'm just looking at it like without reading it. I feel like everything should be on the table. That's the way I'm looking at it here. Promote the top assistant and try to build on your current program culture. I understand that seems to be, that's always popular with the players, but hire a beloved alum with minimal coaching experience. That's interesting. So yeah, if you're at a, a Florida A&M or a Bethune, program level you know that's essentially what you're looking at hire an experienced coach who just got fired from a power five job i feel like that gives you a name number four get get you in the a name that should help with the support um again i i feel like all four of them should be on the table 
got a couple votes for four. Dominic, what's going on? We'll, we'll let you, Dominic, are you, you answering on this one? Are you like four on the, we'll, we'll go with Dominic. I, I see you're, you're in here. We'll, we'll go with Dominic here. First time jumping in on hit. So I missed you on that number three. So yeah, we'll go hire an experienced coach for the women's basketball program. It turns out the low major school is perfect place. Nice. Look at this. Dominic with the huge, the huge answer. Look at the budget, the support, the ranking. That was, this was our best answer. That was the most we've gotten. We're moving up. 30 second delay. Let me know, let me know wh which part is, how can I do this better? Do I need to, to wait to press it? Um, or is it just the, the re response on the chats? If I need to take longer before answering. I want to show you guys. Hold on. Just shifting things around here. I'm just rotating the screen around here. Give me one second before we move on. Yeah, I want to show you because I, I see the thing on the bottom right hand part of the screen and I want to show you it's been changing, but I, I can't quite figure out what it is. But I want to show you guys too, in addition to like our stats with budget support and the ranking, but the bottom right hand corner, it was just off screen the way I had it set up before. But I think this should work here. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. I think I got it set up. This this will work. Okay. The first one is nine of 10 questions. Okay, yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how it moves on. There's gotta be more than, there's gotta be more questions though. Anyways, you know you'll never compete for national titles in football or basketball, but with the right investment, you might be able to win one in bowling. I actually saw this image um, as part of the game um, when they were kind of advertising or with other articles and i was i kind of didn't know what i would say if it came up but okay do do we make the run of the bowling title here basically kane today what's going on kane today we're, we're doing this uh we're letting people answer as well so if you want to answer we'll let you answer this one um if you if, if you have a question we're going to try to keep it moving here we're, we're doing well 
Okay, yes, championships are forever, and this is your best shot, and if you can increase the budget, okay. No, a bowling championship doesn't bring in revenue, advance the departments, institutional goals. Again, we're at an FCS school, so I feel like, you know, all wins, all things could matter, maybe. Give a modest budget increase to ensure you always compete for conference titles. And, if you, and I say FCS, that has to do with football. You know, obviously you can be FCS in football, but Division One, because there's essentially roughly th over 300 basketball Division One schools, whereas uh, with football, you know, it's, there's not as many, uh, 120 or so FBS. Give a modest budget increase. Okay, so we can compete for titles in bowling. See if you get lucky. Tell the team you only increase the budget if they can hit ambitious new fundraising goals. So you kind of put it on the team. That's interesting. Yeah, Kane's Cats wants two as well, but Kane's today, he, he's in here, or they're in here, wants number two, doesn't bring in the revenue. So let's just, okay, that's what he's doing. That's what he's picking here. Kane's today, nothing wrong with having a bowling team trying to win, but you feel that spending 150,000 is better served in higher profile sports. That discipline led to better department-wide results. It would have, I didn't know it was gonna cost that much, wow. We didn't win a title, but we do move up in the rankings. Okay, back to this, back to the Title IX question. In order to remain compliant with Title IX, you need to sponsor new women's scholarship support. Which one do we start? Okay, there we go. We, we, we need everybody jumping in on the, the women's sports here. Which one are we going? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna let everybody vote on this one. Beach volleyball, acrobatics and tumbling, lacrosse, wrestling. I feel like we're in South Florida. I feel like I know where people are going to go with here. Lego with Ego. Clickers app now to shop. Dominic's going his votes for beach volleyball. We got acrobatics. What do we got? Travis is going either way. Kane today goes one, one or two. Yeah, one or two, one or two. Beach volleyball, yeah, the same vote. You can take anywhere or escape to an oasis of strawberry bliss with Starbucks pink drinks. The acrobatics, gymnastics, essentially. I'm surprised it didn't say that. Gets more revenue. Starbucks pink drink in ready to drink bottles. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. School is back, and Dick's Sporting Goods has everything you need to gear up so you can show up. With what are the votes here? What are, we got? We kind of split, huh? Like Nike, Jordan, Hoka, the North Face, and more. The looks you want, the backpacks you need, all under one. So Smoke switched it over from one to two. Now they're going number two. And with our best price guarantee, seems like there's more votes for two. We'll match it. With looks this good, it's never been yeah. easier to sport your style. Both are Olympic sports. Year, That's true. Six. That's one way to look at it. It feels like with both of them, you know, if you get a chance to have a good one, you can have a good program uh, moving forward. If you can kind of get it going, have success, it seems like you'd be able to maybe build on that for your your department here. We're going to, I think we're going to go gymnastics or acrobatics and tumbling. Let's do that. What do we got? Low equipment cots, larger roster, and low barrier. We had success early on. The team was able to enjoy success early on. There we go. You've been promoted. Okay, there we go. The next round will be a lot riskier, taking on challenges from the mid majors. Okay, we're moving up. We can retire. Essentially, it means, I guess it just means that we're, yeah, we're, go, we're leaving that school. So we're going to our next school. So good job for everybody. We, we got down a little bit, that first question with the, the lady going to social media. Complaining about the baseball transfer. I feel like we still made the right decision, though. We don't need to be getting involved with that. But again, we started with 11 million on our budget, 50% support, and 150th on the ranking. So we clearly have moved up. Okay, so 
So now our budget's 25 million at the new school. 50% support, so we're back at 50% and our director cup rankings 80th, okay. Okay, so at the bottom where it says mid, before it was saying low essentially, so we were at a low school, now we're at the mid major school. So that's what the mid part means. The one out of 10, I, I know you felt like it was questions but I feel like we did more than 10 questions. Maybe not though. And then the Q, the 158, maybe that's the number, the question number. I'm kind of just guessing because I saw it at 206 at one point. I saw it at number 20, so maybe it's, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Welcome, John, what's going on? John, if you want to answer this question, feel free. We, we've let everybody kind of answer one, I think. Um, now that we're here at the new school. Okay, your student government president is planning on introducing a bill to end student fees for the athletic department. Yeah, these are a lot different questions. The fees that the department depends on to make ends meet. I feel like this is very risky. Uh, not Even though it's a president, um, one in charge, I, I feel like that's, I don't like this. I feel like this is kind of stepping on it. If you need if you need the money, I, I don't I don't like this here. Okay, meet with the student government president one on one. Try to figure out his concerns before the bill is introduced. I, I like that one. Launch an all out campaign directly to student voters and attempt to get them to vote in favor of student fees. Okay, no one's going to vote. If the students are not going to vote for more fees. So keep a hands off approach in order to let the student body decide. That's interesting, but again, athletic department, you're a huge decision maker at the university. Again, we're at a mid-major school. So try to get the student government president impeached <laughs> via back channels. I feel like if someone was in here wanting to be, have fun with it, that's the way to go. I like that. Maybe we can, you know, kind of get one of these Kind of more ridiculous answers in. We'll go with one. Travis and Smoke are on one. Yeah, I, that's what I think too. I feel like I understand letting the student body have decisions and, and essentially let them decide. I just don't feel like this is one of it. And of course, they're going to have less fees. But I think it is what it is. And if you really, it's again, it says the department depends on it to make ends meet. I feel like just go before I can, I'm guessing our support might go down, but our budget's going to go up. Or at least stay the same, but it is what it is. Maybe the government, maybe the president will come around here. Let's see what he says. Student really understand exactly where the student fee money went and after taking the time. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. Plus five support, plus two ranking. I'm not going to read all that out loud. There we go. But that's good though. Support goes up and we move up in the ranking. <laughs> Dominic, we're going to get one of these fun fun answers in here in a little bit for sure yeah two out of ten so this is probably the second question maybe that is how it works all right your local high school athletic association would like you to host the state championship basketball so i know you thought maybe florida a m maybe what school are we at now kind of it doesn't tell us but a mid-major school so maybe a, a you know if there's a school that you're thinking that we're at right now but anyways like you to host a state championship basketball tournament on your campus. You'll get a fee, but you won't be able to use the arena for a weekend in March. I think we got to accept the offer. Local support, essentially bringing in the community, recruiting. I really like this. It, you got to do it. Um, it's part of it. Again, you want your school to, to be involved in, with everything. And I think you can have a good event and honestly, It'd be great if you could host it every year, just kind of create tradition at your school. This is where it is. Uh-oh. Yikes. Well, we didn't know that's the way it was gonna go. Yeah, recruits. I feel like we made the right decision. It happens. I feel like you make the right decision and get the wrong results, but I feel like that's the way to go with it. All right, back to football. We haven't had a ton of football questions. So 
star football players considering a transfer to Power 5 University. And this coach asked you to sit down and talk to him. Sit down with him. Okay, this is interesting because we had this question when we were at the FCS school before. And now we're at the mid-major school. So are we doing the same thing? Because remember, we answered with the NIL is what we did. And it actually kind of benefited for it, for us. These are the same same, same answers. I'm kind of thinking three again. I mean, it worked last time. I feel like we'll just go three. Yeah, you guys are on board with three. Yeah, same answer. That was enough. Decide to stay. Plus four, plus four. Cool, cool. Hey, how are we doing on the background music? Is it too loud? Too, do I need to? Is it too loud? Too little? Okay, so it's the same question. We're back to the the schedule, but again, this is a little bit different because we're at a higher level school. Last time we did number two. And it worked out well for us on the answer. Okay, the conference average is three. Before it was three to four. So things are a little bit different. Now this one, I feel like it's a little bit different because now you're maybe in the, in the ballpark of really trying to pull off the upset. Whereas before, at the FCS level, it's really hard to win against a, a higher level program like in basketball. But I think at the mid-major, I think... I'm kind of maybe thinking a little dare. Are you guys thinking it or do you still want to do the number two? That's what we did last time. So you guys are thinking do two. The answers are different though. Cause again, I remember number three, it said the conference average was three to four. So maybe that, maybe it's going to be a little bit different, but we can do this again. Can maybe do three cause it's only one more game. That's true. Instead, of, yeah. So if we go with two again, maybe we just go to three. But again, the wins and losses, the wins and losses, the wins and home game thing, the wins for is really important if you're trying to make the NCAA tournament. Jason's here. What's going on, Jason? Jason wants to go three. I, I feel like let's go three with Jason. Travis is on board there. And Kane's kind of leaning towards that. We could, let's go three here. Ooh, my loss of support and the ranking. That didn't go very well. That's all right. Boosters. We have okay. This is good. We got extra one hundred fifty thousand. Where do we tell them to send it? Tell them to give it to the general fund so like the department. Okay, hire more trainers. I'm not leaning towards that. Tell them to give it to local NIL collective. Three, tell them to give it to the operating budget for the track program. Tell them to facilities fund. I'm thinking four. I thought there might be a football or basketball answer, but I'm thinking more four with facilities. I don't like the trainers one. NIL, I, I do like that. It, I don't, I'm not big on the, the track program thing. I think one and three. And I do think at this level, again, mid-major program that we're at right now, uh, the weight room renovations can be noticeable because not uh, they're not all the same at that level. So let's go with four. You guys, yeah, you guys are on board with four. Got new racks. Yeah. Okay. We move up. We got some, you know, we go up in the wins essentially and we gain support. That was a good answer. Good job. All right. Your boosters, coaches, and players are asking for the tool to set up again. NIL. I like that this is current. You know, it's got the old school look, but obviously they're asking a lot of current stuff because they just, they just made the game. So, okay. Hire a professional NIL collective agency. Ask your single largest booster to set up a collective. Pay a third party. 
Okay, we're gonna get rid of number four. We're not gonna wait around on that. We're gonna be proactive in some, so I don't like number four. So I think one, two, or three here. I feel like, I'm curious what you guys think on this one because I think we could go, I think all three of them, I feel like you could understand all three of them as the answers. So we got for one, Travis, I'm going to count yours as a two because I, I don't like four there. I don't like the waiting around. So we got to vote for one, one, or one, two, one, three. Pay a third party. Yeah, that's what you want to do. We got two votes for one, Smoke or, or Travis. Um, you guys thinking one or the other? If you had to pay, pick a different one. Number one's gonna cost some money, but again, I think that's, well, number three is gonna cost money too, pay a third party. Number two, you know, single largest booster, you're putting a lot on the booster. Uh, that can go one way, you know, obviously it can be a positive, it, it, but you know, it could go the other way, Discover essentially all in on the, the, the booster. It depends on the end of your, first year, which means your relationship with that booster. We just got up. to the school, for the audio so maybe that's part of it. Good. Don't have that relationship that yet. That right? Discover automatically doubles all your cash back. So smoke yeah. switching to that's one. Switches. You want so alumni involvement. That's right what Travis now. was saying. Twice the cash back. Number one would be a second choice. Yeah, and Travis, the thing, like what I was saying, it, it wouldn't cost essentially for two or the one and three, but we're going to go one. People are switching. You know, there's more votes for one. We're going to do this as a group. But let's let's see how this goes. The group is able to raise tens of thousands without incident. There we go. 72,000 on the budget, more support. So that worked out really well. So good, good answer on that one. I probably would have leaned. I was kind of thinking about two because of the the cost, but that worked we'll out well. Your athletic department is struggling to attract attention from local events. media. What do you do? Jordan, Hoka, well, the you I, I have a feeling. Okay, you're not going to do nothing. That's not how it works, because it's not all about winning, unfortunately. Invite the editors of local newspapers radio station more over and more over for a get to know you session. That I think that's a good idea. Expand press access to blogs and official student papers. So that means basically, you know, if you've been kind of limiting your press, not letting the essentially uh, non-traditional student um, or, or non-traditional media outlets into your program. So what they're saying is expand it, you know, allow blogs, uh, the unofficial student papers, large social media accounts. Again, if we're at a mid-major school, I think that's important. So I think that's a good idea. And uh, number four is a terrible idea. Express frustration with the local press and public. <laughs> That's another terrible one. Uh, I feel like if we press number four, like what would happen? I feel like you lose support or maybe your fans would get behind. I feel like it's just such an obvious bad answer. I feel like everything would go bad with the budget. I feel like budget support and ranking would all go down. Yeah, this is a question for me. I think number two is a good one. Um, I think you've always got to expand the press access. Uh, the thing with the editors, you know, the editor, I, it's different for, for, uh, for me or, you know, me personally, I've worked with editors when I've, you know, done th some things on the side over the years, the newspapers and doing stuff for the AP, for example, I had to deal with a lot of editors. Um, currently right now at 24 seven sports. And when we were with ESPN, even before that at Kane's time and the insiders network, the scout network, you know, a lot of it was just kind of essentially my responsibility or the responsibility of the writers and reporters to do the work. Um, whereas the editors, we essentially operate as our own editors. In a sense, we do have bosses that, you know, in the network and people we talk to, but they're not on the day to day thing, the way that editors are for newspapers and their re reporters. So the thing about, so what I'm saying is uh, the editors aren't always hands on. Um, so I do think that's a good idea, inviting people over. Maybe if it said invite the writers 
uh, the reporters, maybe, you know, just to get them more involved, but the editors do have a lot of decisions to make. Um, and, and these are the main ones, you know, the, the local papers, the radio stations for a get to know you session. Again, you're at a mid-major school. So I can see that one. I think obviously with my background um, as a website, things are have certainly changed over the years, allowing websites in the fold um, a lot more now. But back, you know, when I first started doing this, you know, websites weren't, they, they were, they were considered, you know, they didn't get all the access at times as the other papers or the big, the news stations, um, the radio stations, things like that. So obviously now a lot of people have blogs, the fan, basically you're talking about some fan sites and, and things like that. So you're expanding that large social media accounts. Um, so that's what we're thinking three. All right. What we, I'm just kind of reading and talking. I want to see what you guys said here. Expand the access. Two or three. Yeah, I think that's what we're leaning on. Two and three. Four is obviously a terrible one. Um, and number one is just not going to work. Having that attitude. And I think that attitude with any level. If we were at a high major, I don't like that either. I think you've got to have some sort of relationship. Um you know, because it's not always just always just about winning. Same way with fans. Again, media is just an extension um, with, with fans, it's essentially the bridge and the gap between teams and, and fans. So I think fans, you know, they, they want to feel connected as well. So doing nothing for the fan base isn't a good idea either. OK, a lot of people want to do number two, invite the editors more bang for the buck. I think that's a good way to put it, you know. Um, if you can, maybe there's more of a following. If you get the newspapers, radio stations, it says and more. So I think that's the level. So I think let's, I like to, um, and again, you, you know, just having a good connection and the get to know you session. I think those things are always valuable. Things have changed over the years at Miami, just kind of throwing that out there. There used to be a time or a long time ago where the, before the season would start, we would kind of um, go there and kind of introduce ourselves in a sense, um, the reporters with, with the team. You know, there was a time where we've been able to sit in on a meeting with the coaches. You know, the coaches kind of show us certain things about the team or what plays they were gonna run, things like that. It was organized just a, as a relationship connection, you know, just to kind of learn more about the team and, and things like that. There were things like that in the past that haven't been done. Um, over the years, not just with this regime, just a lot of regimes in the past here. So we're going to go number two here. It worked. Yeah, the flattery and access, free food. Yep, that's always a thing. Plus six on the support. It is funny. So uh, not funny, but typically when they have the media days, especially with basketball or with baseball, they always have a nice spread for the reporters to attend. And um, they do have the, the lunch for, for reporters. So just throwing that out there. So this is what oh, I wish I could remember. I'm gonna have to watch this back. What was our support when we at the FCS? I should have wrote this down at the FCS level. How high did our support get? Because we're at 65% right now. Um, and I, I don't feel like we were that high before. So I feel like we're doing really good. So far at this level. I, I just yeah, I don't think we're at 65. But I feel like oh, so we're at question eight, maybe at question 10, we get another promotion. All right, your head men's basketball coach is leaving for a Big Ten job. All right, disappointing, but it's going to happen. That means we had success, so that's good. Okay, and you need to hire a replacement. A very successful mid-major coach has expressed interest, but you're not sure you can afford a salary requirements. We had this question before, a little bit different, a little bit different scenario, money um, in a different situation. We do have a good budget. Remember, we, we did number one. I feel like we should have remembered these because these are popping up at each level, just different variations. But number one, that didn't go well for us. Remember, uh, he went to the press and it made us look bad. So I don't want to do that again. So we, do we go more affordable? But he's very successful. I feel like you got to spend money to get a coach, you know? Um, you get what you pay for a lot of times in this, in the athletics. Oh, awesome smoke. That's awesome. I'm glad you did that. 
Okay, J uh, what do we got? Smoke's going to... Um, yeah, Dominic, we did one, but remember, yeah, like I said, I think we got that big negative. I think the answer had something to do with the agent went to the press and gave bad press and said we're cheap or something like that. I felt like that was the reply, and I felt like we lost either support rate something. I feel like that didn't go well for us. You guys are thinking too. I like too. Yeah, go to your biggest booster, see if they'd be willing to increase donations. Again, I, I like that. I like that one. That's a good one. I don't like going to the school president. They've got other things to be, wor you know, boosters. That's what they're there, for, you know, essentially there for. <laughs> Try. <laughs> that's the one you jumped in on. Oh, my goodness. What in the... Travis picked two again. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody picked two. I thought that was a good one. I don't know. I thought that was good. Man, that didn't go well at all. Lost 66,000. These people keep... I don't understand. Like, you're supposed to go to your... What's wrong with going to the boosters? I don't like that. I guess we could have tried to talk to the agent. You know, that didn't go well, though. And I, I don't like the idea of, like, doing nothing and moving on. I guess that happens, but... I don't know. I feel like we're trying to be aggressive here. Okay, this this is a great one here. Because this happened at Miami when Jim Laranega arrived. And if you guys don't remember, I'll share it here. But student attendance at basketball games is terrible and your coaches have asked for support in building a better home court advantage. So they're coming to us as the athletic director. Remember when Jim Laranega took pizzas to the dorm rooms, uh, you know, kind of handed out pizza, kind of went there to kind of meet the students, essentially meet the fans where they're at. You know, I think that was a great idea. Um, again, it's that connection with winning. It's not just about winning. You've got to have that connection. And and certainly a lot of people felt really strong towards the program because in year two for Laranega, that's when they went on that crazy run, the ACC regular season title, the tournament title. Um, I remember being at that game when they clinched it and the players were in the crowd with the fans. I thought that was just a, such a great moment just in his second year at Miami and, and just seeing the basketball program be at that level compared to where it was you know, just kind of the before that, they were kind of barely making the NCAA, they made an NCAA tournament appearance, but they were just mainly kind of NIT bids. Um, just didn't have a program really going um, with its success, uh, the, you know, the attendance. But anyways, so the coaches are coming, the, essentially the basketball game. So I think they're talking about men's basketball coming to us. So we got to provide some good answers here, a good answer. So this is a good one because this is what we're, we're here for, you know better hope court advantage okay spend marketing budget money on giveaways to, and okay that's that's an answer that's one we could go with increase basketball operations budget to improve the quality of home opponents so that means if we're at a mid-major school maybe we want to we want to bring it maybe if we're mid-major we want to bring in a miami type you know that won the acc in the acc conference with the best in the one of the best in the country you bring them in would that help? You need to gear up so you can show up. Invite Greek life and, you know, again, you're getting involved. Like Nike, Jordan, in a meeting. Oka, the North Face, and more. The looks you want, the backpacks you need, all under one roof. When you're running short on time... Number three is interesting. I feel like a lot of time is going to go into that one. Number four, pay popular campus influencers to promote going to games as a fun activity on TikTok and Instagram. That's clearly a new way of thinking um it's hard to pick four considering it's such a new thing and we love listening to you so let's talk click now to take part in our short survey and you could yeah pizza to the dorms chris what's going on uh, i'm glad you're here uh we've been doing well kind of recap before we get into this we're almost done looks like we're almost done with our second round of questions we were at scs school we got promoted to mid-major school we're doing well here we need to bounce back. We just lost some on the budget and support, but we need to move up a little bit more. So one or two for Jason. Travis has one. Smoke, three or four. Influence is huge with college kids. Absolutely. I mean, there's no doubt about that. That's, I, I, you know, the three and the four. You can count on. We can refer you to attorneys who may help you recover physically and financially. Make your free call Yeah, I think one. 
essentially one and three are similar, essentially reaching out to student participation and, and essentially four too, but it's just a different way of going about it. One, three, and four, I guess you categorize in that, categorize it just a way to get student participation. So you're either gonna spend marketing budget on giveaways, um, which are whatever, I think. And then three, yeah, you're, you know, the leaders, you, you go to a meeting with these people, solicit ideas from them. And I think that the thing with the Greek light, you know, the, those two things on number three, I feel like you're talking about a, a large group of people that could get, you know, 20, 30, 40, you know, maybe a, a large group. And if there's a popular camp, campus influencer, that's obviously, that wasn't a thing. That wasn't a thing at all when I was in school. So um, maybe some people can chime in on number four. If they think that one of the more popular people on, on campus is talking about going to fun activity. Are you going to go to them? Essentially, are you going to go to the game? I just feel like number three kind of reaches a little bit more people than number four. All right, what do we got here on the answers? Dominic, I'm going with smoke or three or four. I guess I'm kind of leaning towards three a little bit more in terms of the, the potential. Again, you're trying to get student participation. I feel like you're just reaching more people because it says Greek life. So you're talking about all kinds of different, however many uh, different um, fraternities, sororities, how many, you know, there's just a, a large number of them there. And then campus club leaders, there's all kinds of different clubs on campus, no matter what school you're at. So I like number three. I'm going, I think I'm three. Are you guys, so Jason, okay, you guys want to kind of go the other way on one or two. I feel, the thing about two is, I just feel like we're, we're not reaching the, the students there. But again, support is not just with students. You know, you're talking about, oh, it says student attendance. Okay, number one. Yeah, my fault. At first I thought it said, yeah, they're trying to increase student attendance. Yeah, let, yeah the built-in network. Yeah, let's go three here on this one. What in the world? That's on me. I was pushing that. Oh, that one hurts. That was the worst answer. Minus 164. That was a lot of money we just spent on meeting with people. But how were we supposed to know they were going to take the money and run? All right. I've got to bounce back here. ESPN is thinking about moving some of your conference football games to Thursday nights on your next TV deal and have asked for your opinion. I think without question, you've got to do it. Tell them you'd be okay with playing one conference home game, but not more. Tell them you're not interested in playing midweek conference games. You know, one thing that's interesting is, you know, I'm curious what fans that attend these games, what they think. I think obviously the exposure helps, but fans, do they like going to a Thursday night game? Would they prefer that Saturday atmosphere? Tell them you're okay with playing whenever it would bring in the best exposure and revenue for the program. I think number three, but that's that's kind of what I'm leaning on this one. Yeah, Jason's with the exposure. Yeah, I still don't, I, that last question still bothers me. I feel like we should have got a better result. Yeah, we're going all in on three here. It looks like this is our last question. So hopefully we can hit this one out of the park. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. We lost 300, th some 360,000. You didn't get a promotion, but you're also not fired. Well, let's keep it rolling. So we're at the same school. Oh, so that's the way it works. So essentially you get 10 questions and they, re they evaluate with where you're at.
So our support got up to 66%, down to 49 here. We're still at the same level. This is round three. Okay, NCAA allows your men's and women's basketball team to take a summer exhibition tour out of the country. Where do you go? Are we thinking recruiting? Are we thinking about fans? Obviously recruiting, I think you're thinking of more Canada because you know I feel like those obviously would be the most. Um, it's not as fun as like in Italy or Brazil, or Saudi Arabia, obviously it could be a different fan base than what you're used to. Same way with you know Italy and Brazil too. I think Europe is always a big part in terms of getting over there for your players um the experience essentially professional opportunities for your players afterwards so i like italy on this one but again i think canada um you know i think you're thinking about the budget too you know do you spend the money to go different places Yeah, okay, so here we go. That, here we go. Yeah, those last questions. Yeah, we did take a beating. We got to bounce back, but we're going to we're going to get through this. So it's t I'm excited that we at least know what's going on. 10 questions, boom. Go to the next thing. See if we can get the promotion. We're not going to be here at this school. We're not going to get fired. We got to get promoted. All right. The Saudi money from Jason. Yes, obviously everyone I think that's why that's in there, the Saudi Arabia with the money. Number 1 closer to home. Canada's big on basketball, absolutely. And so many big name players from Canada recently. Obviously, we saw what Jamal Murray did in the finals there. Uh, Andrew Wiggins recently in the finals. Okay, the year before. Okay, looking at Italy. I wonder about the budget, though. I think I'm worried about the budget is going to be a hit. Um, yeah, Italy is a trip that they've been to. They go to France August 1st. They have that 10, 10, uh, 10 11 day trip coming up with the UN basketball team going to France. It's every four years the way it works. Canada got them dogs. Their national team is legit. Yeah. And then, you know, um, Michael Nwoko, you know, from, from Miami played for represented Canada. So I, I feel like we're split between Canada and Italy. Dominique and Jason said Italy. Kane's cats. It looks like he jumped off. Travis wants to go Canada. Let's go Italy. But again, I'm worried about the little worried about the budget hit. Well, hold on. Yeah, we haven't spent that much. The last two, so we lost three hundred sixty thousand and one hundred sixty thousand. So that took us under the twenty-five million. Yeah, we still have the budget. Um, yeah, we could do something fun. Italy would be fun. We could do that. Let's just do Italy. Nobody on either one of your rosters has ever been to Italy before getting a chance to play against. Yeah, there we go. Professional opportunities. Like I said, sightseeing plus six. Okay, there we go. Paid off in recruiting and on and off the court. We're bouncing back. Let's let's keep it rolling. School's multimedia rights contract is up. Who do you decide to go with next? Nobody. We'll, we'll sell our own. A firm that specializes in low major MMR rights, a national heavyweight, a company that does a little of both. I don't know what I don't know a lot about this topic. I'm thinking maybe number four, a um, little of both. Number three, it just feels like we're not at that level yet. But if you think we should strike big um, and try to get, you know, you're trying to think of programs that have been able to do that and kind of get in that that realm there. A firm that specializes in low major. See, we're at mid major, but maybe they're thinking it has to do with low major multimedia rights. Anyone 
Yeah, Jason's going. Let's go for it. Let's get it and move it. Move on. A hybrid approach pays dividend. Look at Jay. Look at you got Jason with a good one there. Travis also said four. Look at that. We gained a lot in the budget. Ah, we needed that. So if we had our, yeah, we got to get up over 60% on the support. Okay, your athletic department is struggling to attract attention from local media. What do you do? Again, let's do number two. Invite the editors in. We're going to do that again. Or, or do, since we did it last time, do we switch to maybe number three? Yeah, we got to get that power five. I know, we, we got it. I'm, I'm excited. I want to get through this. Do we switch it? Do we stay with number two or flip to three here? We could look at it like it's another year, so maybe you invite the editors again. All right, let's go to. Yep, it's the same thing. Okay, that's good to know. Move up and support. Gold there we go. Back and exporting goods has everything you need to maybe, th Jason, maybe three would have been better, but at least two was steady. That's a good one. We're moving up. Like Nike, Jordan, Hoka, the North Face, and more. The looks you want. Oh, the pouring rights partner. It's time to select a new one. What do you do? You go Coke, but nobody. The money isn't a big at this level, and you don't want to be tied to a restrictive cons. A local company. If you pick one or two, is it really going to be the a same or a different answer? I feel like whatever you pick. So let's talk. Click now to take part in our short survey, and you could win a month of gloriously uninterrupted music with Spotify Premium. That means you can enjoy all your favorite artists ad-free. Sound good? Then yeah, this adds a little. All right. For your chance to win. Okay, here we go. Looking at your answers. Enjoy the delicious two, two, three. Drinks you know and love in Starbucks Cafe. You don't want to be. St the thing about it, I feel like all schools have a contract. I, I feel like they have the rights partner. It seems like if you have Coke, you know, essentially you're talking about the, the Powerade as well, the water, you know, all of it. The local company, you know, I feel like you, yeah, Dominic likes that. Again, we're at a mid-major school. I feel like, I don't know a good answer on that. Okay, so Travis and Dominic say four. Jason's at the Coke. Don okay, do not, oh, okay. Smokes with Coke as well. We can, let's do the local one. Um, yeah, let's see how the local one does. Cause you know what? I think it's gonna help our support. What in the world? I feel like it's two steps forward, three steps back sometimes. <laughs> no, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. That was just a huge hit. It's one thing, well, I, can, I feel like you only go up a little bit, but you can go down a lot. Like you gain 3%, but. You can lose. T Anyways, all right. We got to bounce back. All right, question five here. President suggested the athletic department try out some AI tools to save money. Or what is I think you got to. I think you got to. Use chat GPT to produce game recaps for Olympic sporting events that you can't send your SIDs to cover. I think that. I think that's what it's going to. I think that's going to happen. Number two, for sure. I think that's going to happen. Okay. 
I don't know much. I don't know Python scripts to help you. Oh, that's just okay. I see what that. Create an AI chatbot on your ticket sales website to automate basic questions and upsell customers. On yeah, number four. I feel like you still gotta have the customer service on the upsell stuff. I think that you kind of keep that. Number one, you understand it. But I feel like you don't want to fall behind. I feel like it's coming. So I think you got to kind of get involved with this stuff. Again, this is a new game, new problems or new situations coming up if they haven't already. Yeah, number three is going to help with the results on the field, um, on the court, you know, in the games, essentially help our director rankings. The only thing is if you're trying it out, I think number two is the easiest one to try out. Um, I hate four in real life. Jason, which one? Yeah, I think that's the way I, right when I read it, I was like, I just don't like that. I, maybe it's coming. I know that sometimes um, customer service stuff, obviously if you online, a lot of, you know, some customer service stuff is automated. And I feel like you don't always get the, you mostly don't get the answers you, you like. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like three you can get results. Number two, you know, the SIDs, they're going to have to just kind of do the, the way it works now. If they can't reach out or if they don't go to those events, they usually talk to the coach afterwards and they kind of in essentially some sort of an interview style or, or the, the coach sends them results. Um, so I feel like, you know, you just have to have your SIDs continue to, to do their work essentially so I'm, I'm gonna go three here and the sids do put in a lot of work after hours late hours all kinds of stuff that's just kind of the part of the job so i'm, I'm i think three here because i'm hoping for the results with the director cup ranking 71st maybe we can go up here because we get better results with the with the coaches here but with some coding help yep basketball some baseball stuff football plus five in the ranking there we go the number crunching really paid off off the field on the field okay same i think we do the same thing again number one right we had this question before let's just do number one again the one-on-one -on -one. Yeah, plus five. There we go. So we moved on fast on that one. Your men's basketball coach is asking, again, the paycheck games. So we did three. Last season, we did the three, and that didn't go well. Two is what we did when we were at the FCS school in year one. Number four is interesting. You're putting the hard line on revenue shortfalls that come out of next year's operating budget. Um, I don't really like number four, even though it probably does happen. I feel like it, there could just be, be better answers. So I feel like we can go with number two because we kind of know what that goes with. Or number one, we can kind of go back to the budget, but... Maybe we should just do the n number two because it worked before.
All right, all right, all right, number two. Yeah, let's go two. I sent a message just now to Matt, the guy that made the game, uh, just letting him know that we're playing there. Okay, so it helped in the standings with Fell. Yeah, helped with the fans. Okay, good. We started at 49%. Now we're up to 59 here. A couple more. Let's finish off the 8, 9, and 10, the questions. Let's get these right here. You're concerned about the long-term st stability of your current conference. A more prestigious league has quietly approached you. Oh, this is a difficult question. But the new league will require budget increases and additional travel. This is tough here. I haven't read them yet, but I know that this is going to be a difficult answer because it's a very difficult situation for these conferences. Again, we're at a mid-major school. All right. Recommend to your president that the school accept a new invite and build a plan to ramp up fundraising and construction. Recommend, see, we, our budget went from 25 when we got there. So we've increased by about 100,000. So anyway, recommend to your president that the school decline the new invite on grounds that you should, you could not be competitive in it. Our director's comp ranking is 60th. When we got to the school, it was 80th. So we are moving up since we've been at this school. Recommend to your president that you accept only if the new league can find other expansion candidates that would mitigate travel concerns. Yeah, that was something. So basically, you're in a conference that, you know, the way it's going now with the conferences where they're not geographical, um, you know, th those things are not always a thing. So we're at a mid-major school. Travel is going to go up once we go to a new school, new conference. But again, if the long-term stability, so essentially it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when is this conference going to fall apart, essentially might what he means on this question here. Number four, leak the rumor to local reporter to take it the temperature of the fan base and boosters. I feel like the fan base and boosters are going to want the new conference. I feel like that's obviously how it is at Miami. People want the new conference. What do we got here? One or three. Let's look at the, let, yeah, let's look at those three here. One and three. Because again, not making the move. And number two, staying safe. And number four, I feel like you already know, you should already know what the fan base and boosters are going to do. Essentially, I feel like they should always know the pulse of the fan base. Um, there's ways to know those things. Okay. Number one, recommend to your president that the school accept a new invite and build a plan to ramp up fundraising and construction. Or three, recommend to your president that you accept only if the new league. So essentially, somebody's got to come in as well to help with the travel. So essentially, maybe you get one or two new teams. So a little bit of a caveat compared to number one, you're just all in. Number three is addressing the travel concern as a new league. I kind of feel like number one though, I feel like you kind of just have to do it and figure it out, you know, ramp up fundraising. Our support's at 59%. We have the budget, we've increased the winning, essentially the director's cup ranking went from 80th to 60th. I feel like we're doing, we're increasing in all of them. So I feel like we just go. I feel like we go to the new conference. Yeah, Dominic's thinking three. Jason's saying just go. The thing with three is, does that mean if you can't get the travel concerns taken care of, then you're not going? If we make the right decisions, we're going to leave the school anyways. <laughs> we're going to get promoted in three questions. So whatever we decide, we're going to let this school 
deal with it while we're taking off. Hopefully we can get that promotion. Um, but this also could, you know, you get it right here. It could help. I'm thinking number, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jason, that's right. Yeah, Dominic, yeah, make the move and not worry about the travel concerns. Because what I don't like, here's, here's, here's also what I'm thinking on the travel concerns. How many schools need to be included on number three for your school to be okay with the travel concerns? I mean, if essentially if you're in Florida, how many Florida schools have to have to come on board? I mean, it, you know, I think travel is always going to be somewhat of a thing. So, um, yeah, let's go one. Let's go one. Let's go big here, and we'll see how this goes. You accept the invite. So let's talk. Click now to take part in our short survey, and you could win a month of gloriously uninterrupted music with Spotify Premium. That means you can enjoy oh my goodness ad free sound good then all you need to do is hit the banner now for your chance to win i feel like you can't just be super aggressive with these questions i feel like you really have to answer man all right we're, we're sliding back again the head of your faculty senate told the local paper that the school should drop to division three Okay, we're not going to Division Three. We have the budget, support, we're at mid-major. I understand the conference is a little bit in flux. Yeah, our budget's fine. Our support's pretty good. We're very... Okay. <laughs> what about number four? <laughs> Leak embarrassing faculty expenditures to the press. Okay. Number three is going to cost a little bit of money. I don't even know what the faculty senate. Dominic, it's hard to do number four. I feel like we're grinding to get to power five. I don't want to. I feel like I don't want to take this step back. We're trying to take steps forward and they're not always working. I feel like a number four. But they have to be there for a reason. So maybe there is some sort of benefit for four. I don't know. Let's do two. You guys are on board with two. Let's let's do two. It worked out. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. We're up to 63 here. All right. This is it. This is for the promotion. A local, oh, it's, it's only two answers. A local casino would like to do marketing promotion with your department, offering a large guarantee in exchange for in-stadium signage and promoting the casino to your donor, donor list. The thing is, with gambling now kind of being more essentially acceptable, But I think also, too, that's more for the professional sports. So maybe there's something more with that. If you're thinking about, you know, yeah, I'm trying to think like this. Obviously, for pro teams, you do see that some of this. I'm trying to think locally in South Florida. You do see some of that, obviously, with Hard Rock Stadium. Um, but obviously, Hard Rock is all inclusive with other things. But I don't know. It's just a yeah. It feels it feels a little. Uh, I feel like they're setting us up here, though. I feel like they're setting us up for failure. But maybe we should stay true to Hard Rock. I f Six 
accept the deal, agree to the deal. Jason say, not interested. Smoke says, hard rock. So we got three. J Travis is the other way. I feel like it's three to two if I'm counting here. Yeah, Smoke, you're, I think you're right. It's definitely a tough question. It's number 10. I feel like promotion. I know you can get fired in this game. So I feel like maybe after year two, if we haven't progressed year two after this school, that seems to be a quick firing. It's just the hard rock thing. It's hard to ignore the hard rock situation. I, I feel like all these questions are trick questions. All right, a local casino would like you to do a marketing promotion with their department offer. And I'm trying to think if there, there had been other situations with casinos. And I know, you know, any type of uh, any type of business has to think about promoting a casino as a as a certain thing, whether it's online ads or anything. So certainly it's not just college sports. There's a lot that they have to consider one way or the other. I feel like we got to agree to the deal. We have more votes for agree to the deal. Looks like it's three two on the chat, you guys. I don't like the promoting casino donor list. Yeah, you'd rather just do it for the end stadium signage, like a hard, you know, essentially, but promoting the casino to your donor list. I don't know. It's tough because again, our our casinos. Oh, is there still? A little hesitation with casino stuff again gambling um, sports gambling has certainly changed the last few years maybe more of an acceptance with casinos um, you know just different things like that so seems like a trick and some donors would get mad yeah i think that could be yeah i think you're, you're targeting the question at the end there Promoting the casino to your donor list, right. Maybe other donors not gonna like that. And I will say this too, it says doing a marketing promotion. Is it really going to help that much? Um, some sort of marketing promotion? Offering a large guarantee in exchange for in-stadium signage. I feel like, is it worth it? High risk, high reward. Travis, I feel like we're going to get fired if we get this wrong. Um, I wonder if it... I wonder if casinos in Vegas promote UNLV stadiums. That's a good question. Dominic's going to the Google, all right. I Googled it. Schools have... Schools have deals... There's another thing that stands, because number one, at the end it says with gaming companies, which could be all kinds of things. Has anybody switched their vote? Are we still at 3-2? So it looks like Travis and Jason are on number one. Not interested. Underboss just got it here. Thanks for jumping on. We're at a tough spot here. Let's get this money smoke and a dozen or more deals right now. LSU has one with Caesar Sportsbook. I feel like we're going to agree to the deal. Dominic's bringing in some facts from Google. 
boss just jumped in boss if you chime in what you think we should do here on this question if you're just jumping in we are at year three we're at a mid-major school last round of questions at this school we might have a chance i feel like if we get this right we might be able to get promoted to a higher level program we've been stuck on this question this has been the hardest question for us to answer boss wants to agree i think he said let's get it so i think we're going to do the deal we're going to agree to the deal all right here we go let's see how this goes james is here what's going on throws another vote in for one not interested yeah i feel like this is getting tougher <laughs> yeah that could would that be the sign if you want to make some money bet on the u i just did an article because when i was doing the article on um the Miami, Ohio, they had their media day and uh, the head coach and the quarterback, the quarterback just said they matched up well. And I looked it up, Miami, obviously five and seven, but I did some betting numbers. They're two and seven against the spread last year, two and 10, sorry, two and 10 against the spread last year for those. Um, so anyways, all right, let's, let's agree to the deal. Let's see how this goes. Are we going to get fired? Are we going to get promoted? I feel like the LSU thing, I like that. Let's see how this goes. Final answer. See that, man, we knew that it could be a possibility. All right. All right, we're stuck here. We're going to year four. 91 Canes is here with the question, with the answer. That one's tough. It was that, it was those things you guys were talking about that we were a little bit hesitant on. All right, year four. <laughs> All right, that's a little deflating. I want to get promoted. I want to. I want to see if we can get this thing going. All right, all right. We did go up. I think we had forty nine last time. All right. Central Campus has pledged to increase your funding enough to make one new hire. Who do you hire? Okay, we're not doing the SID, new development assistant, help for fundraising, new athletic trainer. We do fundraising. Are we good with that? I think that's what we did before. All right, there we go. We got it. There we go. You guys would have done that too. I was just trying to skip ahead. We got $400,000 back. Good. All right. <laughs> look at this one. I'll let, look at this one. All right, we're gonna we're definitely getting promoted this year. I think we know which one we're gonna do here. But need some more questions. But we got it. We definitely get, gets tougher. These questions are tougher than before. So we got to get to that power five. Make some real tough decisions. Let's agree. Oh, I almost agreed to the deal again. All right. There we go. Your judgment is praised. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Jason. Let's do number two again. I always, all right. Okay, okay, we're getting the same thing. We gotta, we gotta make better decisions here. This is happening again. Coach going to a Big Ten job. All right, number two. We did number two before and that didn't work. We did number one when we were at the FCS school and that didn't work. I don't like the more affordable candidates. We can do that. What about number three?
three this time, one and two don't work out. Yeah, Dominic, that's what I'm thinking. You get, let's see what the next response is. And then let's, let's go with number three, unless somebody else says something differently. But I think one and two, yeah. But I don't like moving on. Yep, smoke, let's go three. This again? Oh my goodness. So you had to move on. I get well, if we get that question again, we know what to do. All right, th uh, this happened at the FCS school. Last time we did nothing. We did number four, ignored the parent. That didn't work. We're not going to do that. So we're going to have to maybe speak to. We'll go to the coach. I, it seems odd that athletic director has to talk to a parent. Delegate to the sport administrator and have them keep. Yeah, two's just like somebody else can deal with this. Yeah, Jason, we did number four before and it didn't on, and. Uh, we lost a bunch of money, and so I think the, it just wasn't a good one. That was our very first question, I think, when we first started this. So let's not do number four. I like the idea of number two, maybe. I don't, the th again, the parent. I just, oh, I hate that the athletic director has to go to the coach to deal with this thing. Delegating it, that means somebody else that, yeah. Looks like there's more for one. Let's do one then. All right, there we go. That's good, 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 good. All right, good work. I probably would have done two, so that's good. You guys pick, you picked the right answer. President suggests I'd like to draw my child some AI tool. AI. All right, what do, what do, let's do this again. We did three. That one worked before. What? Well, that's weird. We did three before and it didn't work out this time it, or it worked out. Now this one didn't. All right, we gotta get, we didn't get this one right. I'll, I'll wait for you. <laughs> James wants to, to hand the parents the envelope. All right, we got to get that. We didn't get this one right before on the student attendance. So last time we invited Greek Life, and what happened was they took the hundred sixty thousand dollars off the budget, and they left. They weren't interested, so we're not doing three. I think we were thinking about number four, but maybe number four could be similar to number three. Could they take the money and run? I mean, you could always pay, they could always, do, yeah. What about number two? Well, hold on. Yeah, number two, do you need better teams to come in and and uh, that, that excites the fans? Yeah, Keynes is in here. Let's, let's do number two. I haven't seen a lot of answers from canes here from 91 canes let's try that and see how that works because before that remember last time we were thinking three one three and four are all kind of similar so maybe maybe two is a little bit different and maybe that'll give us a better answer oh look at that 91 canes got that one same way with jason yep get the blue bloods in got the big 12 team in everybody loved it Oh, this one's tough. We haven't we haven't done this one yet. 
In order to remain compliant with Title IX, your lawyers are telling you the department needs to drop a men's sport. What do you do? Drop wrestling, drop baseball. I know wrestling has been dropped by schools. Okay, keep all men's funding the same, but add more women's sports. Yeah, that's the way it works with Title IX. It's a scholarship. Um, it needs to be, yeah. So essentially, if you're gonna instead of dropping one, that means you need to cut scholarships across all men's sports. Okay, I don't like three. I think it's one. I think you drop wrestling. I think you'll lose. A, you're gonna lose support, but baseball. Again, we're at a mid-major school. We're talking about baseball and wrestling. But you want to add more women's sports. That's a way to help. I feel like that's going to help with the, the support. We have some budget. It's going to cost a lot of money. And it said women's sports. That means maybe more than one sport um, that we need. You guys, okay, we'll go three. We'll go three. Votes are in. You guys want three. So let's do three. Adding rowing. That didn't go well. That didn't go well. All right. In an effort to increase revenue, your marketing director re recommends the department sell a new licensed product. What do you recommend? An official beer, coffee, new line of t-shirts with vintage previously unlicensed logos. A lot of people like that, number three. I know that that's a thing. Um, B-roll, okay, number four is not. I think number, oh. I like the idea of number three. James, yeah, no, no doubt. Wrestling's a big deal in other parts. Yeah, it's crazy. I think you guys know when I went to school at Minnesota, I went to a Minnesota Iowa wrestling match. It was at the Target Center. It was filled, eighteen thousand. That's where the Timberwolves played, or that's Target Center hosted the Timberwolves. But anyways, that game or that match between Iowa and Minnesota, eighteen thousand. It was full. It was crazy. It was a lot of fun. Um, Brock Lesnar was in school when I was there. But but anyways, let's let's get this. I'm thinking T-shirts. Um, Last time we dealt with local local business, they hated the taste. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Let's not do. Let's yeah, that's true. The brewery, the coffee. T yeah, let's stay out of that. Let's do three. Let's do three. I forgot about that. Yeah, they hated the taste of the soda. I thought we were doing something good for the community. There we go. Look at that. Guys, that's good. 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 You've noticed that the GPA for your football team is suspiciously high over the last <laughs> the last year, and you're concerned your academic support staff may be bending the rules. Oh, we're at question nine. Okay, ignore the suspicions data for now. I don't think you can do number one. I think you gotta look into everything. Okay, make your president and university lawyers aware. Okay, that seems like you're jumping the gun. Call for an independent audit of the football program's academic support. I feel like number three is the way to go. Number four, call the coach, ask for an explanation. I don't know if the coach is going to know all that goes on. I feel like number three is kind of the right answer, even though it's going to cost a little bit more. But if you're already worried, it could be more problems later. Yeah, that was bad. That's so did. They hated the taste. That was pretty funny. Talk to the coach first. Yeah, that's. I just feel like what's the coach going to say? That they've put more time into it. I, I, I don't. I don't know what you're going to get there. But the independent audit. This is 
not my dad's cult anymore. It's my cult. I, you know, it's going to cost money, but, you know, it is what it is. Thanks for immortality. Freeform's Praise TV. I feel like. Episode Saturdays. Stream on Hulu. Hi, I'm Cindy Lauper. My scalp was covered with psoriasis. Felt like I was trapped between a rock and, and he a does say place. suspiciously high, so there's some... So it must have jumped quite a bit. Is prescribed for adults with moderate we can to rock with three. Yeah, smoke. I know you were thinking that. Let's see what three does, but I, I feel like the budget. I feel like, f yeah. Let's just let's see how it goes here. Yeah, it did cost. Well, it went down. So the support went up, but it did cost. So that's. We go plus five on the support, but yeah, it costs a little bit of money. Hopefully Kane's cat. I know he's a big baseball fan, so hopefully he's here for this one. So we have $250,000 earmarked for baseball stadium upgrades. Where should you spend it? Okay, this is good. We, we haven't gotten a lot of questions like this at this at this school. Okay, your lawyers would like you to spend netting. The marketing team would like to spend it on improvements to the scoreboard. See, I like it on two so far. Number one. Okay, number three, if we're below average in the conference, you want to improve those areas. And of course, number two wants to spend on the scoreboard, the signage, the MMR. Okay, number four, some coaches like to ignore the stadium entirely and use that money to buy home games against top. Essentially, coaches are looking more short-term on number four where the, the baseball stadium upgrades are more long-term um, regardless of who the coach is. I don't like that the it's below average in the conference. I feel like you increase that. You're, we're going to increase our rankings again. We were 80th when we arrived. So we've actually taken it down. I feel like we got to worry. We got to get number. <laughs> we got to get. We got to get our ranking back up. Um, so I feel like we got to do three here. Because if we start, if we keep going down um, on the field, I, I'm worried about we might get fired here. So let's try three. We're gonna go up in the rankings. Our support's really high. Hopefully we get this promotion. Let's go three here. Let's bring the facilities up to par. Yeah, exactly. Because it said below average. There we go. More wins, more wins, more wins, more wins. A little bit. Okay, we're right back at 80. But 68%. People like what we're doing here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's because we're right. That was year four. So we're three years in at this program. And our Director's Cup ranking is 80th, which is what we started at. Yeah, we had that bad. We had that minus 15 thing, I think. You're concerned about the long-term st stability of your current conference and more prestigious league has quietly approached you, but the league, okay, we get this one again. Again, we're at the mid-major program. We've got this question before. We did. Th I think this one really went wrong. We did. We were trying to leave this program and it didn't work. Um, we went with number one. I remember number three is what you guys were thinking as well. So we can't do number one because that didn't go well. So I think we do number. You guys thought three before. But here's, here's something else, though, too. If our director cup ranking is 80th, again, we're three years in. We need to, maybe we, we're we maybe number two. We, we're not going to be competitive in it. Maybe maybe we just don't have a program right now that's that we shouldn't do it. Um, 
you know, maybe with where we're at, again, we're at 80th, maybe we're just not um, where we where we need what we need to do. But again, there, there's concerns, so maybe just don't decline. Maybe a, maybe number three, just the caveat of the travel concern. Let's do two this time. Yeah, that's... I feel like we've always been doing <laughs> James was a D4. Maybe that's not a bad take the I feel like though like our concern right now is we've got to get the promotion. So we've got to get our director cup ranking because our support is has gone up. Again, it was 50% when we arrived in year two or the second year. So we've gotten that. Everyone likes what we're doing. To get promoted, we've got to get the cup ranking because the budget essentially, it was 25 million when we arrived. It's really close. The cup ranking, we're just not moving it enough to get promoted. So I feel like the support, doing things to get the support of the fan base, um, yeah, two or four. That's tough because, yeah, maybe instead of one, we should have done three the first time and maybe would have got a better response. But now I just want to stay. It almost feels like we should stay away from the new conference. Budget increase. But we do have good fan support, so maybe fans will be okay. But I remember before it number one had to do with fundraising where the fans didn't had to do it they weren't on board with it. I feel like that was the response. I'm telling you, getting fan feedback seems like a plant. I think we got more people. Let's do two. I understand what James is saying here. Um, yeah, let's do two. Oh. oh my gosh, James. My goodness I didn't see that coming at all I thought we I thought we had built up such a, a percent and oh. that's rough that one hurts not gonna lie I thought we were like steadily making good decisions <laughs> smoke smoke yeah you gotta replay it it was that question we got before so we, we we went with uh we went with staying put on two we went with two and so um it said the que the reply was your fan base you it said something about even though it was a smart decision your fan base will have us a hard time with it and they're not going to let you essentially live it down for years to come. And then it was minus 35% on the support. And we didn't get another question. And it dropped from 68, so minus 35. Um, puts us right here at our support, 33%. And this was our next screen. Run it back. Yo, like, 
actually I, I i enjoyed this i didn't know what to expect i haven't played the game before um smoke i feel like everybody just felt like it though i think we're done i think it's done we could we can run it back we could do a new one um you, i think you go back to the beginning you start at the fcs school and and kind of go from there but um yeah i'm gonna wrap this up on on the uh I mean, that's a good way to end the stream for, we'll call it part one, if you guys want to watch it back or, or whatever. But yeah, maybe we'll do this again. Um, kind of something chill to do. Interesting questions. I had fun with it, actually. I was surprised at the, maybe the difficulty of, of the questions. Um, you know, it was, it, it was definitely interesting. So, but, but what was fun is you guys, uh, the feedback, you know, if I'm out here just kind of doing it and playing it, um, it's one thing and, and, but this was definitely a lot more fun, um, getting your guys' responses, um, chiming in and voting. I think we had, I, I thought we had some good runs. We had that good year one kind of recapping it year one FCS school. we get promoted after year one. I thought we were doing pretty good. Um, it felt like we had some bad answers that were bad, you know, replies there that kind of took us back. We kept going back to the same school. We were in year five. Right, right at the beginning, the fourth year at this uh, mid-major school. So I definitely want to run this back. Um, we'll do this again at some point. Hopefully we can do this. Maybe I'll just kind of jump in and, and get you guys. But we got to get to the – I don't like that we, we came up short. I thought we were doing pretty good. And then eventually we're going to get to the Power 5 school. We just didn't do that. Um, so that's why it feels – deflating here yeah the question you know what Dom, the one thing that really bothered me is when we did the same thing over again on that ga thing about the essentially the advanced analytics that worked so well before and essentially every other question where we were we knew what the answer was that was the one where we got a different response so that was a little frustrating um definitely tricky so yeah yeah smoke i, I definitely everybody everybody here um jason james uh the people definitely at the end wanting to go with four or something not three at the end but it happens so um yeah fall practices start so uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap this up but just dates to keep in mind first off i didn't talk about the beginning but i've got a lot of videos that i interviews with people this week um so definitely stay tuned to the channel i'm looking forward to doing more of those kind of change some graphic things kind of uh, hopefully make it more interesting for you guys, a uh, better Just viewing experience, but talking to experts, um, essentially on different things. Um, so I have that to look forward to this week, Tuesday, ACC kickoff, which is the media days. Uh, that's Miami's, um, time. It's a three day event. Tuesday's the first day. Miami's on the first day, Tyler Van Dyke, Matt Lee, and then also camp kitchens and Mario Cristobal will be there. We'll have plenty of coverage there. And then also kind of moving forward, we're hearing August 1st, first start of fall camp. Nothing official has been announced by Miami. It usually takes them. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we found out just a few days before. But we're here on August 1st, so that's just right around the corner. I've got some more things I want to wrap up and um, kind of just get ready, you know, for, for big fall practices. Um, live stream went pretty well. Um, I had fun with you guys. I haven't been doing these very often um, anymore, but I definitely enjoyed it tonight. And I, I want to run this back. Um, this was frustrating to get this result. Um, we, we got fired, so uh, that one hurts, but it happens. Uh, but yeah, but I want to thank everybody for, for jumping in here. Thanks, everybody, for watching it back. Um, we'll do this again. Definitely stay tuned to the channel. Thanks.